Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include Bailed out Euro nations see debt rise Bloated EU squanders 444 million on pen pushers in over 120 countries EU's REN says close to deal on Greek aid Turning up the volume on human rights in Europe Plus, in your letters, they work for you a matter of trust between Parliament and people. I'm Rick Timmis, and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage. Painful Eurozone austerity measures have failed to reduce the ballooning debt piles of bailed-out nations, with official figures revealing that the 17-nation bloc's bad debt burden hit an all-time high in the first three months of this year. Total Eurozone debt as a proportion of annual gross domestic product stood at a record £8.75 trillion in the three months to the end of March, or 92.2% of GDP, up from £8.6 trillion in the previous quarter. Bailed out nations Greece, Portugal, Ireland saw some of the biggest rises even after implementing austerity measures imposed by Brussels in an attempt to balance the books. So what next from our witless kleptocrats in the towers of Strasbourg? Perhaps it's time for Mr Wren to don his red cape and start wearing his wife runs on the outside. Because let's face it, if the plan is to deploy further rounds of economic bloodletting in the guise of austerity, well quite frankly, the patients are going to die. Figures showed unelected Labour peer Baroness Ashton now employs more than 3,000 European pen pushers in over 120 countries, all paid for by the taxpayers. 55 were employed to represent the EU in the US, with 47 in Russia, 36 in Japan and 26 in India. Even the Caribbean island of Jamaica has 13. Critics warn that the European External Action Service, headed by Baroness Ashton, is ballooning out of control and threatening to rival diplomatic corps of member states like Britain. So it's appearing the Baroness is leading in the intergalactic race for reckless taxpayer expenditure. Only last week we reported on her convoy of 500 chauffeur-driven limousines. My word, somebody should give this woman a cigar. International lenders are very close to wrapping up talks with Greece to unlock further aid. Athens has been in talks with inspectors from the European Union, European Central Bank and International Monetary Fund since Monday to settle issues in its bailout performance review after failing to deliver on public sector reforms. We are very close to a staff-level agreement, EU Economic and Monetary Affairs Commissioner Olli Rehn said, referring to the talks between officials. Now, I think it's stretching the spin to call the sacrificial mass redundancy of key service public sector workers a staff-level agreement, especially whilst they're out rallying and protesting in the streets. She's back in the headlines again. Yes, when Catherine Ashton, the brazen baroness from Brussels, and Stavros Limbrindis, her human rights envoy, recently visited the Gulf state of Bahrain, there were high hopes from democracy activists that both would speak out about the country's human rights record. During the two-day ministerial meeting with the Gulf Cooperation Council, hosted by Bahrain, Mr Limbrindis spent much time discussing human rights with officials and non-government organisations. However, the article goes on to say, the regime barely received a slap on the wrist, said Mr Kawaja, whose father was sentenced to life in prison for his role in the democracy demonstrations of 2011. In our letters section, Edward Spalton writes, For most of our history, there was a tradition of unpaid public sector service in Britain. It survives still amongst justices of the peace and now largely symbolic honorary offices of High Sheriff and Lord Lieutenant. In the 19th century, elected councillors took over many of the duties previously performed by local benches of magistrates, until quite recently councillors were also unpaid. Edward goes on to explore the structures of Parliament and the civil service, reminding the reader of just who these elected representatives are working for. Again, many thanks to Edward for another cracking, critical and well-thought-out piece of writing. (laughs) 
Today in our video library, well folks, I'm delighted to say that we have news in respect to our video entry into the InfoWars Film Festival. Now unfortunately our video documentary Betrayed has not made it into the list of 35 finalists, but we have been awarded a three-star runner-up position, which when one considers that this was a global contest with the better part of 1,000 entrants, we are delighted with our results. I have provided two links below. The first takes you directly to the video on our YouTube channel, and the second to the entry on the Infowars.com Paul Revere contest site. As ever, I encourage you to go and rate, comment and share our video on YouTube. We made the video via the motivation of the contest, but the content is the truth to the best knowledge of our research team. And the more people who realise just what has really been taking place in the last 40 years, the better. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the e Unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the words section of our website. Join us in our live question time style online show, The Unit Interactive. Broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, the unit on Google+, links to the community page are below.